Hey everybody, it's Zach. Welcome back to the Heroverse. And guys, we are back yet again with another unboxing. Today we are going to be unboxing the Sunjin Wu solo leveling statue. I am so excited to unbox this statue. Um, I'm a huge fan of solo leveling. Uh, thanks to Alex Lee. Of course, he is the dubbed voice actor of Sunjin Wu um, for uh, solo leveling. Without him kind of making the meme of of the arise scene because that episode was coming up and that's like the biggest kind of you know catchphrase that Sun Jin Woo uses is arise that's like a big moment and if it wasn't him making the memes of saying wakey wakey or you know it's time for school I probably would not have even like like solo leveling probably wouldn't have even been on my map of or on my radar of like wanting to check out the show it wasn't until he said arise and I was like, oh my God, like that sounds dope. What's that from? And then I was like, you know what? This dude's funny. Let me check out Solo Leveling. And I binged the, the first season like in like three days. I, or maybe it might've been even two days. I don't even know, but love the show. Um, I did watch the season two trailer. Cannot wait. Apparently I heard from my bro Sam because he also watches Solo Leveling that we are going to be getting trailer two sometime, I think this month to the beginning of next month. So I'm really, really excited to get that second trailer. Season two looks amazing. Love the show. But of course, this is the statue right here. I actually got it on, on Box Lunch's website, which I was on the hunt for everything solo leveling. I remember I bought two t-shirts. I'm not wearing it today. Should have worn it today. Um, but I have one close up face of Sun Jin Woo. And I also got another one where it's like the poster of before he gets his powers and him in the back after he gets his powers. So it's like a really, really dope t-shirt. It's like the poster for the show, but yeah, just love the show. I definitely recommend it to people that haven't watched the show, but if you're watching this video, you most likely watch the show. Uh, but of course this is the front of the box right here. Um, as you can see right there, this is this, the back of the box. I believe this is the other side of the box. Um, and then this is the other side of showing off the parts of the statue. I believe, yeah, this is the, yeah, this is the front, this is the side, this is the back, and then this is the other side. So it's really, really cool. Uh, I'm not sure, like, where this statue is coming from. I think it's from Crunchyroll's web website, but they, uh, have it on Box Lunch, Box Lunch's website. And I remember having to order this statue in and ordering in another one of my t-shirts because... Not many places at the at the time had that much solo leveling merch. So I'm just glad because, you know, the, the anime has gotten so big in a short period of time. Like the, the show, I know like the manga is really, really big, but like the show, I'm, I'm so glad that it, it, it got that all that like big uh, publicity because that's what kind of, I think kind of sped things up for like uh, statues and shirts and, 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 and more merch. But this is really packaged very well. I'm not gonna lie; it's very, very packed, like packaged nicely. Um, I took it out of the box right here, so we're gonna put the box on the ground. And this looks like a pretty big statue. It comes in this. Like I said, the wrapping is very, very well. We got some bubble wrap in here. Very, very good. Pull this out. Uh, here is the stand. As you guys can tell, the stand's right there. And hopefully that's what we have. And then of course here is uh, Sun Jin Woo himself all wrapped up. So let me unwrap this real quick for you guys. I'm going to unwrap the stand first. So we're going to do the stand first and then we're going to do uh, him himself. So let me get the stand out. Really dope. I love this stand. We'll put the box on the ground. Just throw all that crap right there. I don't think I need anything else in here, do I? No, yes, I do. There's a piece right here that I'm going to need. So, yeah, there's a piece to the stand, probably to keep him up. So, and there's a spot right here where this piece fits in, as you guys can tell, right there. This, that little piece just fits in right there. So, let me put that in real quick. Of course, you have to line it up. Got it in. Rip this open. Because it comes with both of his swords. I'm not gonna lie. I always forget the name of his swords. That's the one thing. I, like I, I feel like in the in the midst of all the action, I don't pay attention to sometimes is the swords. But I think I looked up the swords name and I can't remember what it is. But name the swords down in the down in the comment sections below. 
Um, because I'm actually curious to know if you guys know the name of the of Sun Jin Woo's swords. So let me know. Yeah, these are this is all packaged very nicely. I'm actually like very happy about that. Like nothing broke because it took about a week. Uh, yeah, I think it was like a week to two weeks or two and a half. Um, to get this statue in, I was waiting for quite a while. Uh, I, I really want, really just wanted it to get in, and I'm so glad that it's here, because I think I said a couple of weeks ago, um, I was gonna do an unboxing for this, but it just it was taking so long for it to get in, <laughs> but I'm just so glad that we're finally doing it. This out, this other hand, this other sword, sorry about that guys, it's really in there. Stock up. Sick on the ground. And they're all separate too. They're all kind of in separate bags. It's like one long bag as you can see here. And it's all separated. Which, which is a little weird. But I guess they didn't want anything breaking on it. Which I can appreciate. He looks really good too. Like the, the face the face sculpt work and the details on that figure are it, it look incredible on that face work right there. So actually looks quality and this statue was only 24 bucks believe it or not which i'm i'm actually shocked about that this was only 24 bucks on a box lunch's website but he comes in two parts of course this is his legs um and his torso and of course we have his upper body right here we're actually going to put it together real quick you just do like so you just match up the match it up make sure i'm getting it in right because once it's in, it's in. I don't want to make it. I don't think I got it all the way in. Okay. Looks good to me. Looks good to me. All right. I think I got it in. It takes a little bit of force. But, of course, this is what he looks like so far. I have to put his hand in. But let me do that see how great he looks that's actually really really good i'm actually really impressed with the detail work on this figure on the face of him like that's actually really really cool yeah i love this character man he's so dope all right let me i think this one goes in this hand um like i said it's just a matching matching up the kind of pieces to make sure where you things go where they are supposed to go um it probably doesn't hurt to check out the box Okay, so yes, this does go into this one one hand. So this arm goes here. Shove it in real quick. Like so. Okay, that's in. Sick. That's one of his swords. Right there. And then let's put the other one right here. Sick. Look how dope he looks. Trying to get it like it's kind of hard to put my hand right there so for it to zoom in, but I'm trying to kind of get it where I can zoom in. There we go. Look how dope he looks. I'm actually gonna turn off this one light right here so that way there's no glare. So let me turn this light off so there's no glare, and hopefully, you guys can see the figure a little bit better. But yeah. Yeah, come on it sucks because this this kind of jackets making it hard for me to put this there but yeah as you can see that's what it looks like very very sick i'm actually going to turn that back on real quick Sick. Let me turn this down a bit. Awesome. But yeah, this actually looks really, really cool. I'm very blown away by it. By this figure. Yeah, there we go. There's a good shot of him. Very, very cool. Very sick. It's like he's jumping into action, which is really, really cool. And then we're, we have the stand right here, and he goes on top of the stand. So let me, you know, the the kind of hole is at the bottom right here, and you just gotta match it up very very well. 
we want to do it where I'm not breaking it because we're not trying to break it here. So let me try to get it in. Better yet, I'm going to take it off the stand first, get it in, and then put them back on the stand. So that's my recommendation. Um, even though we have this connected, this part connected on the stand already, I just took it off, and now I'm going to connect it onto the stand itself again. That's what I'm going to do. Sick. And that's how he looks. I think that looks really, really dope. I'm actually going to turn off. Actually, I guess that's fine. But better yet, this is what we'll do. We're going to turn off the back because we kind of have a little bit of glare on the back of the display. So let me turn the display off. There we go. And see maybe if the, if the glare is not as bad. It's, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it might be as good as it's going to get because, yeah, because it's not wanting, yeah, like that, it really sucks with my light back there, but there we go. I think this is definitely worth it. He looks dope. I'm very, very impressed with how this looks. It's going to be a great piece to kind of have in the background. I've yet to decide if I want to have him like at my at home with all my other anime statues or let me know if you guys think i should put him right here in the back that would actually be really really cool this is what he would look like in the back if i put him in the back right here so this is what he would look like if i kept him there in the back do we like that or do you think i should put him with all my other statues at home i'm not gonna lie i'm actually thinking about getting like a light up here a light fixture so that way you guys can kind of see in here a little bit better with the lighting but what do you guys think do you guys think i should keep him here at the studio or do you guys think i should put him at home with all my other anime statues like my my deku figure um my all my, my all might figure and like all my other dragon ball stuff do you think i should like keep it here or put him with all the other anime stuff at my house i'm actually curious to know like what you guys think and when we get that second trailer for, uh, I guess I wanted to say, whatever. When we get that second trailer for solo leveling, I actually want to do a reaction to it. So be prepared for that. I'm actually going to be doing a reaction to the solo leveling trailer too. Once that does drop, I might, it sucks because it takes a minute for the dubbed trailer to drop, which that's the one I'm really, really waiting for to watch for the, even the teaser that we got for season two. I'm waiting for the dubbed variation of that trailer because I watched the the uh, subbed trailer. I think we all did, but but the visuals look incredible for season two. But I'm really excited to hear that dubbed version of that teaser trailer, um, and then get a dubbed version of the second trailer. So because I watched uh, solo leveling in dubbed, I don't watch it in subbed. I kind of watch all my anime when I can in dubbed because I'm a dub anime watcher. I don't really watch subbed. I know a lot of you guys are probably like, what the hell? But I'm a dubbed anime watcher. I don't know what else to say really about it. But I'm glad that I did this unboxing uh, for the solo leveling Sunjin Wu statue. Really, really cool. Uh, as of right now, I think that's really the only one like statue, like the only statue they have right now. At least that all I could really find was the one on Box Lunch's website. Now, mind you, Box Lunch is in, in a lot of people's like malls. It's usually like a store that's in a mall. Not quite sure if, if, if you have one where you live, most likely you do. If not, that's the good thing about Box Lunch is uh, like they have a website. You can buy it off the website, have it delivered to your house. So you can still get one even though you don't have a Box Lunch at your local malls. You can still get one. It's definitely worth it. It's a dope statue. I just want to apologize, like I said, for the lighting. I did the best that I could to show it actually off. I'd say I did a pretty damn good jo job showing off the detail work of this statue. Like I said, I don't know why that came off. But it just snaps easily back on. I don't think I had it snapped in, maybe. There we go. I got it in now. But that was weird. But, yeah. Do I have it, do I have it snapped in? I think I do. Okay. 
Anyway, yeah, it's one of those things where it's like it doesn't go in too deep. But yeah, like I said, great looking statue. Very, very impressed. And yet again, I'm trying to get it where like it's wanting to like zoom in for you guys or like it's wanting to focus. It's just very hard to get it to focus when there we go. That's what he looks like. It's a damn good looking statue. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit and hopefully it kind of focuses up or I guess I can get closer so you guys can see him. But yeah, it's a damn good looking statue, as you guys can tell. Very, very impressed by this. It just takes a minute for my uh, webcam to kind of zoom in. But yeah, definitely worth it, I think. But let me know down in the down in the comment section below if it should stay in the back in the studio or if it shouldn't. Let me know. And also let me know how it's how like what you love about solo leveling. Like when did you get in, <laughs> into it? Um did you did you read the manga? Did you not read the manga? Are you a dubbed watcher or are you a subbed watcher for solo leveling or just for anime in general? And let me know what you're looking forward to the most going into season two. Without giving spoilers, because like I said, if you read the manga, I don't read the manga, so I don't want to know too much. But like I said, if you're new here, subscribe to the channel, post notifications, and like this video. It would be much appreciated. We're almost to 900 subscribers, so that is the goal. The initial goal is to get to 1,000. Once we hit that 900, we'll be on the way to hitting 1,000 subscribers. We'll be 100 subs away from hitting 1,000, which is just insane to me. Um, I'm very, very uh, like happy with what the channel has been able to accomplish in the past three years. It's inc it's incredible. And I cannot believe we're almost to my goal of hitting a thousand subscribers. So yet again, if you're new, you love solo leveling, this is the place for you. Like I said, expect more reactions to solo leveling trailers. Um, maybe even some reviews on the seasons and stuff. You know, it, maybe that could be, I could do something like that going into the future of like the show and stuff. But as always, guys, that was the video. I hope everybody has a great day, a safe day, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.